Mr. President, uh, the OIC WHO country representative, Dr. Socorro Escalante, would like to manifest. Uh, Mr. President, may we recognize her? Good evening, Mr. President, and Good. thank you so much, uh, Secretary Good. Duque. Um, uh, first and foremost, uh, Mr. President, we agree uh, with the experts uh, na nagsabi na po kanina that we are expecting the mutation of this virus. Um, and because the more the virus will circulate, the more chances of mutation. Um, and we agree that it's the same uh, characteristics and attributes in terms of the mode of transmission, except as a secretar Secretary Duque has already said, we are still looking into other attributes such as the transmissibility or kung mas grabe po yung pagkaka-infect or yung pathogenicity ng, ng virus. So considering that, uh, Mr. President, our the WHO recommendation for now is not to restrict travel, but to ensure that our public health interventions are in place and that the country is ready to mitigate any, um, uh, any event that the, that the transmissibility or this new uh, strain will come into the country. But there are three points, uh, Mr. President, that we want to add. Um, unang una po, we want to uh, encourage uh, more thorough risk assessment of the situation. And risk assessment could really, especially in this circumstance, um, would, if we are going to meet again on the 28th, we will look at the data that is being submitted by the member states to the WHO through the international health regulation. And by this information, we will get um, the, the la latest update from the different countries. And this risk mitigation, uh, Mr. President, would include looking at uh, what is the current stage of transmission of this specific uh, variant in the country of origin of our passengers. For example, po, if we are looking, for example, for Australia, Japan, and Singapore, although meron na pong na um, a the cases that have been detected and reported through the international health regulations. By this basis, we would not uh, encourage like lockdowns or restrictions of travel because the, the, the numbers are low and these are also the countries which have very stringent uh, public health interventions. So kung malakas po yung public health intervention ng isang country, and the cases are limited to imported cases at wala pa naman pong community transmission. It is not going to warrant the declaration of a lockdown uh, from that country. On the other hand, the risk, mitigate, the risk assessment would also be for, our can, for, our, for the national risk assessment. We need to take this opportunity to look at saan ba yung gaps ng mitigating measures natin, including, for example, the points of entry, how we quarantine, and how we isolate the individuals, plus our own surveillance. Um, in the na past nine months, nine months, Mr. President, we do observe that the government has already put all the necessary public health interventions and measures, but we have learned also a lot of lessons on the capacity of our local governments to really prepare to mitigate the risks when people are traveling abroad or from Manila to the provinces. And the biggest lessons that we have had is when individuals coming from places where there is ongoing community transmission or high level of a transmission will go to places where wala pa tayong infection. So these individuals will seed uh, those localities. And when the local government units or those areas are not ready for contact tracing, isolation, and quarantine, then lumalabas po at nakakalusot yung infection. So now, um, in this current situation, the risk that we are seeing, Mr. President, is the increased mob mobility of the population and what is happening in the UK but that is only a part of the risk. The second, the second part of the risk is how strong 
our public health intervention in this country will be able to cope up with this risk. So in, in the meantime, uh, Mr. President, we would really encourage the, the country to add the measures on a thorough risk assessment plus risk mitigation by ensuring the capacity of our public health uh, systems uh, in the country. Um, another point, uh, uh, Mr. President, is we would support the inclusion of genomics uh, sequencing in our surveillance system because, as we said, uh, this virus is going to mutate, and we do not know if there are already mutations also in our country that is actually causing faster transmission, or we do not know the attribute and nature of the virus that is already circulating. So WHO is in support of the uh, National Institute of Health and the RITM on the move to strengthen the, the genomic uh, sequencing in the country. Um, last point, uh, Mr. President, regarding po yung Saba, Malaysia. Um, we have confirmed uh, as of now from uh, information um, uh, within WHO that the variant that they have identified in Saba is not the same as the variant in UK, but it's similar to other mutations that's located in South Africa, in Australia, and in, 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 um, in Netherlands. So, and we do not yet know what is the significance of this mutation and what are the implications in, in terms of public health system. So again, Mr. President, to summarize the point that uh, we are, that, um, uh, that we would like to uh, deliver to the body, one, we expect virus mutations, and this is expected to happen. Number two, our public health interventions that are needed and are already proven to effective are in place. We just need to systematize and strengthen them. Number three, we need to ensure that we do thorough risk assessment and that risk assessment is about the country of departure of the passengers plus the capacity of our health systems to handle the arrivals. And number four, is risk communication is very important. So thank you so much, Mr. President, and to the body, and uh, WHO will continue to be part of these discussions and be part of the risk assessment, as well as to provide uh, continued information as we gather from other countries. Yes, uh, <clears throat> you, it's a very good uh, uh, narrative. Uh, lalo na yung ano, I'd like to zero in on itong surveillance, pati yung the way how we, yung interdiction ng, it's not intervention, it's really interdiction, how the local uh, governments would uh, also help us. Alam mo, 